Hi YouTube, it's Bella and baby uh, Laura, and we're here to do the Reborn tag, part three, so let's get started. How do you justify how much you spend? Well, I do coupons, I save money, I look for sales. Babies for Russ has a great sale rack where we're at, it's like things for two and three dollars. So, yeah, that's how I justify how much I spend. How much do you spend per month? Um, as much as I can afford. Some months a little extra, some months not too much. I don't really spend usually more than 20 unless I'm buying a baby. What does your friends and family say? Um, they think it's unique. Some people don't understand it. Some people think it's something cute. For the most part, they think it's something cute. I mean, who could resist this face? I mean hers, of course. Just say. Why do you collect babies? I... Always like baby things when I was young. I'd go to the store with my mom and it would be like a routine. Every single time we would have to stop at the baby aisle and look at the baby stuff. And even before I got into reborns. And she would enjoy doing it with me. We would talk about when I would have kids and stuff. So yeah, we would do that. Uh, what are box swaps? Okay, I wanted to inform you something. And I will make another video speaking about this. Box swaps, I have not done one. Um, I am having a quote-unquote reborn baby shower for my toddler that I'm getting. But I am only receiving things from two close friends that I know very well. Do not give your address out to anybody. Do not just give it because someone seems to be nice on Facebook. I know these people well. I've talked to them for months on the computer and then I gave them my phone number and then they're sending me something it's because I trust them and they know all about me and I know who they are so that's what I'm saying don't give your address out to someone who just smiles your way and is like I'll give you free stuff know the person know what they're about because you might regret giving them your address in the future I did um, actually one time a friend sent me a baby but I knew them very well I knew them we talked on the computer and then the phone so that's what's going on. How do you afford to... How do you afford your hobby? I work and I save money and I look for sales. Do babies share outfits and do they have their own? I do have certain outfits for certain babies and yes, right now they share, but I don't want them always to share. How do you keep track? Sometimes the baby stuff be everywhere. Everywhere. And people who stay with me are like, what is this? They pull out little onesies and I have to keep more on top of it. But right now it's pretty organized. I have to do like a few little organizational things. Um, but that's how I, I'm not doing a good job of keeping track. <laughs> where do you take, where do you find the courage to take your baby in public? I've taken them to Avon. Uh, customers' houses, to church, uh, to the stores when not knowing about their outfits, to doctors who wanted to see it, uh, doctors of a relative of mine, my own doctors, um, whoever wants to see them basically, we'll see them. How do you film in public? I have not yet filmed in public. I've taken them in public, but I have not yet filmed. I will film and let you guys know more about that. Sorry, I keep looking this way. Did anyone ever say you're too old to play with dolls? Yes, I have an ex-manager who are very good friends and she c tends to be kind of on the serious side and sees things in black or white and she said to me uh, she's very like, she sees it the way it is and she's like, Bella, because I took a picture of Benjamin in his stroller and she's like, you're putting a doll in a stroller. And I was like, I like it. And she thinks that they're cute. You know, I keep telling her I'm going to get her one. And she goes, like hell you will, Bella. I want to get her one, though. What drives you to send gifts to other YouTubers? I have not sent any other gifts yet. I will be sending it for Susie Reborn's baby shower. Um... Because I know her very well. Just people I know well. I mean, I'm not going to ask 
random people for their addresses and say, I have something for you. You know, that's, I wouldn't expect them to give it to me. Also, a lot of young people are doing the reborn hobby. Me, I'm an adult, so obviously I wouldn't have to ask my parents. But the younger people, under 18, um, or if you're not on your own, it is their house, your parents' house, you have to ask them, say, listen, mom, dad, I've known these people for a certain amount of time, we talked on the phone, I know them, I've seen them on video, this is them, this is their voice, can I accept a gift from them, and I'll, I can send one in return, and if they say yes, that's great, if they say no, you have to find another way to go around it, use a friend's address, something like that, but always keep people informed, your parents might say, I don't want this sent to my house, but Aunt So-and-So will allow that, so send it to Aunt So-and-So's house. Or get a P.O. Box. Um, if you do this a lot, P.O. Box would be better, but they are pricey and you must do so much paperwork to get them. So, I'm just saying, do this, uh, ask your parent, ask your guardian, ask whoever's house it is, can I? And if you're on your own, you know, just be wary. Make sure they are what they say they are. Just because they say it, doesn't mean that they are. So, be wary. Um, and what's my favorite part of it? I like all of it. I like dressing them in little outfits. I like snuggling them. I like all sorts of stuff. Getting new babies, hauls, everything. I like all of it, basically. So, I want to say God bless you all, and I hope you enjoyed this video.